I was a little bit naughty while we were in Sainsbury's and I bought Nathan's very first Christmas present. Won't let this moment pass us Good morning guys and happy Saturday! How are you feeling today Nate? He has a bit of a cold today, he's feeling a little bit sorry for himself or at least I've decided he's feeling a bit sorry for himself. He's a bit snotty, he's definitely got a cough and he's very very sleepy. My normally sleepy baby is even more sleepy than usual. We have been spending the day just kind of chilling out and at the moment we are sitting on a sofa. Hi Nathan. <laughs> he is trying to eat me and we are watching Oxley's daily videos. Look, haha. -ha. It may seem a little self-indulgent to be sitting watching these videos, but be I've been watching the ones that I haven't been a part of. So because I've been away a couple of days this week, Chris has been doing the vlog, he's been hanging out with Nathan. And at the moment I'm catching up on watching those videos and just catching up on what they've been doing and what they've been up to. And it's been really lovely. It's awesome that the days that I'm not here, I still get to see what they do. It's gonna make going back to work an awful lot easier, I think. Or harder. Or, or harder, because I'm gonna know exactly what I'm missing out on every single day. If you missed Chris's vlogs from earlier in the week, when it was just he and Nate out for the day, then I strongly recommend you go watch them, because I thought they were awesome. And I'm sure you will too. But I do think you should continue watching my video first, and then go back and watch his. We don't want to give his too many likes and stuff, and make him think that he's better than me. Do we? Even if he is. But don't tell him that. Uh, don't let him know. Miss uh, that! <laughs> well, you're getting sleepy. This morning during one of Nate's many naps, I was kind of going through all of his clothes and figuring out what stuff he fits in, what stuff he's going to be in soon, and just kind of giving it all a general sort through. And while I was doing so, I came across these clothes that I hadn't put away yet. These were given to Nate last week by Chris's brother Dave and his girlfriend Katie. And they are super cute. He's got all sorts of awesome stuff. You get a pair of robot bibs. There's a super snuggly looking all-in-one for when it gets a bit colder. Some shoes, tatty teddy toys, beautiful smart dungarees that may be like a Christmas time type outfit. His first Peppa Pig. Very first Peppa Pig clothes with pockets. I absolutely adore baby clothes with treasure pockets. How cute is that? Particularly love little tatty teddy. Nate's had a good chomp on this already, so if he looks a bit wet in places, he's been well loved. That oh dear. <laughs> Getting the impression that you are not very sleepy. The other thing that I really wanted to show you guys today is the sensory box that I've kind of been putting together for Nate. It's kind of like a little box of treasures for a four month old. And this is what we've got so far, quick, because he's about to wake up. He hasn't seen it yet, so I'm going to show it to him for the first time in a minute. I thought I'd show you guys first, then I can talk you through the stuff without Nate grabbing and playing with things. To start with, we've got an old metal box that's been hanging around the house for a very long time. And I'm using metal because it makes funny noises when you hit it. And the rest of it is going to have to wait until I've gone to go and get my little baby. Right. Mister. Oh, shut the night. You know, have a look what's in your box. Okay, so we have a metal box, that's as far as we got. Inside the metal box, don't fall over baby, is all sorts of fun stuff for a four month old to have a play with. Don't play with the camera. First off, a wooden spoon, because it makes funny noises on the box. Mm -hmm. What is that? Stop looking at the camera. Wow. You did it. Yeah. Oh, you clever boy. Did it make a good noise? One thing has to be said, all the items that are in this box are not toys. They are not intended to be played with, but they are very interesting for little fingers to play with. So I've cleaned them all to the best of my ability. They are not sterile because a lot of them can't go in the steriliser. They've all been cleaned down and washed, but under no circumstances will Nate be left with any of these items without me within reaching distance. At the moment, 
he's between my knees. So I'm here to make sure stuff doesn't go in his mouth that isn't supposed to, namely wooden spoons that might have sharp bits on them, and just generally to keep an eye on him. You can eat me though, that's allowed. Let me see what else is in the box. The spoon aside, we have got, okay, we have got this. Ah, <gasps> it is a brand new loofah with funny textures for baby to touch. Whoa. <laughs> Did you not like that? Woo! Does it not feel like it's supposed to? Okay, we need more snuggles. I'm not going to complain about, but vlogging is a little bit harder. So, I got my baby. We also have... Oh, go forward, you stay back here. We have a fresh sponge. What's that? That a funny texture too. Let's see what else is in the box. Let's see what the next thing in the box is. <coughs> ow, my hair. Ow, ow, ow. The next. Uh, baby, you can't be tired. You've only just got up. You have. I just watched you. You saw. <coughs> Mister. The remaining things in Nate's box that he doesn't want to show you because he's too grouchy right now are a couple of old metal bangles that aren't going to be given to me like this, but I'm going to get some ribbon. Annoyingly, I've thrown out an entire bag full of ribbon only a few months ago in order to make space for Nate coming. Now he's here, I need ribbon. Anyway, so I'm going to wrap these in ribbon and then they can be like dangly toys that make funny sounds. Just hopefully just something a bit different and interesting. Lastly, in his bag, we have a shower hat that we've had hanging around the house for quite a long time that has never been used. And it's shiny and crinkly. I think it's just an interesting thing to play with. But he's not cooperating. So you can't see him playing with them. <laughs> Maybe we'll try again in a little bit. It's really cold out though. The temperature has suddenly dropped today. My hands actually feel chilly. Part around the supermarket, I had to wrap Nate up like a little burrito just to try and keep some heat in. He looks cozy enough though. See, he looks super snuggly in there, don't you, baby? You cozy. Come on then, let's go home. I was a little bit naughty while we were in Sainsbury's and I bought Nathan's very first Christmas present. Don't look, that's good. Look the other way. Don't look, baby, don't look. We've got him this. Because what six month old with an app developer daddy doesn't need a mobile phone for Christmas? Shh, I hope you forget that. Don't listen, Father Christmas might bring you an iPhone if you're really, really lucky and it might look an awful lot like this. Is it too early to be buying Christmas presents? Like, particularly for what? A little boy, this little man here, <laughs> who is currently only four months old. So he's gonna be, oh baby, you wanna see? <gasps> Hello, I see Nathan. <gasps> There's Nathan, you on the camera now. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Is it too early to be buying Christmas presents when he's, I don't know, it's still only September, like it's really, really early, but it was a good deal. And if something's on a good offer, then you've got to buy it now, right? Let me know what you guys think. And let me know if any of you have already started your Christmas shopping, because then I don't feel quite so bad. <laughs> Little Mister is now in bed and hopefully he's asleep. Chris and I are sitting down for dinner, which looks amazing, Chris. We're having burgers, which are like the thickest burgers I've ever seen. Sweet potato fries and an onion and mushroom mix. And Nate's monitor sitting in the corner. After dinner, Chris and I sat down to watch last night's American Horror Story. It was half past seven when we turned it on. It was still kind of light outside and I still managed to fall asleep halfway through. And it's much, much later, but I've like been up, I've been doing stuff, I've had a snack, I've cleaned the fish tank and I'm gonna sit down for like the next 20 minutes I have got a cup of chamomile tea, which hopefully isn't going to put me to sleep. Chris is in the bath and I'm going to try and watch the end of the episode. The bits I saw between dozing off really seem to be tying up loads of loose ends and kind of continuing the story and all the threads came together. But I have no idea what happened because I was asleep. So I've just been rewinding. I've got all the way back to 37 minutes in and I don't think I've seen the end of this scene, which is awful. That's like halfway. Still, there should only be, what, 25 minutes left of this. 
of less than minutes left of the recording. There is definitely an ad break in there, so hopefully I can be in bed in the next 20 minutes. Having seen the whole of the episode, I can't believe I actually did it. I made it all the way to the end of American Horror, all 20 minutes of it, without falling asleep. But now it is super late and I am super tired and I shouldn't have spent so long on Instagram messing around. To make it worth my while, you should go make sure you check out my Instagram feed and see the posts that I've been posting because they are pretty damn cute if I do say so myself. <laughs> <laughs>